So, y'all, Trucker Jerry's here, and uh, I just want to have a talk about supercapacitors. <laughs> and uh, since he's here, I figure he can be in the video. Hmm. Good times all around. Okay, nice. so you got your regular AGM battery or your submerged lead acid battery. They have a lot of capacity. They're like a swimming pool with a drain in the bottom of it, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of water in that pool. A small drain. You can only get a little bit out at a time. That limits what that battery can provide. Now, it's got a, a, a bit of a section that allows you to dump a bunch of power for a few seconds so you can start a vehicle. But other than that, it's designed to just give you little bits, a few amps over however long. It can also only take power that fast, too. You can't really put a lot of charge in it. On the other end of the spectrum, mm -hmm. you got your supercapacitor, which, which is this guy. Now it's it's a small swimming pool. It's like a five gallon bucket, or maybe a maybe a feed a water trough for 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 cows, right? Small container of water, but you can take the bottom right out of it. You can dump it all in just a split second, and you can dump it in in a split second. So if you take this battery over here, it's got all the storage. Mm -hmm. And you got this thing here that allows it to fill up and just give you a, a burst. It's constantly getting filled up by the battery, right? Yeah. And whenever the amplifier needs that dynamic power, that boom, 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 this guy can provide it. And while it's lo losing its capacity, the battery's filling it back up in one steady stream. So the battery's giving it a steady stream. Mm -hmm. It's providing the pulses going to the amplifier. And your alternator and the battery are working together to fill it back up and keep it ready to fire those pulses. Can an alternator keep up with the pulses if you're doing a lot of booming? No. So eventually The alternator can keep up it. with the constant flow, but it can't pulse. And that's the problem with just an alternator as a power source. If you're... Uh, it, it it has it has a delayed reaction. So the alternator is producing this much power, and when it sees power drop, it turns up and produces more power. But that's a an infinite long amount of time it takes to do that. It's just a split second. But whenever you're dealing with drum beats and bass notes and mm -hmm. stuff, a second or a half a second is a long time. You have two alternators, though, right? Yeah, same yeah. problem. Though. Two alternators, one battery. It's actually two alternators and three batteries up there. Three bat there's three yeah. regular batteries up there. Well, there's two, one battery and two sort of kind of batteries. So would it benefit you to add another battery, like a big truck battery or a battery in here, to benefit this? More, or, or add, or maybe even add another one of these? If uh, Actually, my system is pretty stable. It's right on the edge of being perfect. It's not. You can do. It's right there, yes. Yeah. So, uh, but having more storage for the capacitor to draw from, is always good. You can't you can't go wrong with that. But does it? But you know you, you can have more than you need, but you can't never have any too much. Uh, so basically, if if the capacitor is able to maintain some state of voltage, you know, it's main it, it isn't getting emptied all the way ever. It's it's always maintaining some state of of, of fullness. Then you're good. Yeah. You know, that's that's all you need because it's just a buffer. And unlike a battery, where a battery, you, ha you have an operating range between like, you know, 11 volts and you don't ever want to get the charge to get below 11 volts on a battery. Any battery that's bad, yeah. bad. This thing doesn't really care. It, it has a maximum voltage of 16 volts that you can charge it to, but it can set at any voltage you want. You can feed it 5 volts and it will sit there and hold 5 volts like a 5 volt battery. It, it does not care. It's it's more like a spring. So with your current system and setup and everything that you got in here, all of this together, including capacitor here, all this does uh, provides enough energy for your booming and all that. I mean, it meets your system. You don't need really a whole lot more to. No, at the current setup, it's it's just right 
it's just right there on the edge. It's almost not quite enough, but it's really, it's right there on the edge. Well, like I said, I was only asking because at one time you had three semi-truck batteries, I believe three or four yeah. back there in the back. I had three. Running, running back there. Yep. And, and I had, and I had the two smaller batteries uh -huh. up here in the front, and then I had I two batteries under the hood. Here. Yeah, and then. So yeah. I, I had a total, I had a total of uh, seven batteries in here. Yeah, I remember that. This makes up for that. Wow. <laughs> well, less space too and less weight yeah less weight you now, now here's weight. the thing that seven batteries had a lot more capacity it was like seven swimming pools with little tiny finger sized drains when you add enough of those you can get enough of a drain to to, to keep do up what you want to do, right but yes yeah. but you have to have a whole bunch to do that and your vehicle's riding around like this exactly. yeah. <laughs> and you have to have the, in order to get in order to get those little thumbs all the way up to something that's that's a decent amount of power yeah. you've got to really have a lot of them this <laughs> yeah. this replaces a lot of batteries in that regard so in the car audio world you could go from running uh five or six batteries to running maybe two and a super cap and accomplish the same goal that you were trying to accomplish. You don't need that huge amount of capacity. You need the ability to put power in the amplifier quickly. I like this better. I mean, it's cleaner too, and you don't have yeah. all that extra weight back here. So, and if you're running a regular, running in the car without a serious system in it, it's still going to benefit you because it's going to make your starter happier, getting higher voltage to start with, more power whenever you hit the key to start the vehicle. It's going to take that pulse and load off your battery, so your battery is not having to get, not having to do those big pulses and, and stuff. Your battery might last last twice as long if you've got one of these in adjacent to a normal battery in a normal vehicle. If you've got a winch or a UPS, any kind of stuff that you're using to to power stuff with, mm -hmm. I absolutely, would, I'd say, man, just about everybody on the planet driving a car needs. If they've got a place for two batteries, they need to leave their factory battery and take. Maybe take that second pack of battery out and put that in there. and Yeah, because this thing's like a 15-year lifespan, and it's going to double the length of the life of your battery. It's going to double the life or triple the life of your starter. It's going to reduce the, the wear on your alternator. It's going to do so many things. Like whenever you do put a hard load on it and your belt starts squiggling on the alternator, this solves that problem because it's taking that initial hard load and balancing it out into a long, steady load. So instead of having to instead of having to, to do the thing right now and do it hard, it can just refill this guy that's doing the work. And it's got a fifteen year life. Fifteen year lifespan, life yeah. Now these guys are B stock, meaning they were they're not new. They pulled all these off of service vehicles. Mm -hmm. The service vehicles have been out for probably a year or less. So, so you can get these B stock ones from uh Amazon for 150 bucks. Uh, about which comes two. through Big Big Jeff. Right now, I think there's one place that has them for 142. Uh, new, they're like the new the new ones are like 500 bucks, and the uh, the, the 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 new version is like a thousand bucks. So that price varies a lot, but still, for 150 bucks, you can if you, you've got to have at least one car battery. You gotta have at least one battery. You gotta have something the other. It has to, you know, it won't even work when you have a battery. You gotta have one battery. Yeah. It it actually knows like right now it's on. See that little green light? Uh-huh. It it's and that green light will stay on unless I disconnect the power to it. If I take the power that's coming from the battery the, the front off of it, it'll turn itself off and then you can you can short these posts together and it wouldn't do nothing. It turns itself off. Hmm. It has to see a battery to turn on. To turn on. So, and then uh, when it, whenever it goes to charging, it, it sees the alternator, and then that changes a different state. Fifteen years, man, that's impressive. I think so. I've been impressed with it, and it's got an app. And uh, I can't show you right now because I'm using the, but I'll show you another time. But yeah, you can pull up the app, and you can see what the voltage is on it currently, and what its state of charge is currently, and all that stuff. And then you can also here's another kicker. Let's say you got this on your vehicle, right? And mm -hmm. you got a regular battery and you messed around and figured out a way to run your battery down your vehicle. You got your big truck mm -hmm. and left something on and you come home and the battery's dead. And you're like, oh man, the battery's dead. Mm -hmm. And it can't start. Click, 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 nothing. Mm -hmm. You get in there, open up that app on your phone, push the start button, 
and it'll tell this thing to turn on without having the battery. And it starts chewing. And you can start your truck with it. Yeah, definitely. You get one of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that, that, that lets it bypass all the safeties and come on without having a battery hooked up to it. That's cool. And it'll it'll take, even if your battery's just got six or five or six volts in it, it'll draw that voltage up in there uh -huh. and charge itself up off of your dead battery. And slowly, it might take a few minutes, slowly charge itself up and then, and then you hit the key and it'll start your vehicle. I, I like that.